Okay, so here's a problem that I'm having with my Cadillac. And it happens to be a turn signal problem. Now, before I took the car outside, it's, it was kind of raining outside, as you can see. Glass is wet. I took the car outside, and I turned on the blinker, and it started blinking really fast. It's the left one. Now it's blinking slowly. Which is very confusing to me, because when I was outside, it was actually blinking fast, and I don't understand it. So, let's see if it will actually blink if I drive or something. Okay, now it's doing that. So, what could be causing that? Now it's blinking even faster. You know, like, I, I don't understand it. <clears throat> now that the headlights went out, it's actually blinking slower. Now, it's kind of fast. This is how it's supposed to sound like. It's supposed to blink slowly, like that. But, I don't understand. Anyway, let's take a look. And it gradually slows down, so I don't understand what it's doing. That seems to be working. That seems to be working. This bulb here seems to be brighter than that one. Huh. Well, let's take a look at it. So good to have a flashlight on your phone when you can see. Wires appear to be in good shape. Now this is the one. Now it might be hard to see, but this one has two filaments inside it. Or yeah, that's what it is. It's a dual filament bulb. Now the one filament is lighting up, but the other one isn't which means it's making the bulb less bright. This is what it's supposed to look like. If I can get it out. You can see that that one's much brighter. I don't know if this is a wiring problem or what it could be. Okay, so it's been about probably three months after I made the previous video about the turn signal issue. Um, three months ago I was having an issue with the left turn signal in this 95 Cadillac Fleetwood. Um, every time when I would turn the left signal on it would blink really fast which would be an indication that the bulb was burned out. <clears throat> Unfortunately the bulb wasn't burned out. It was perfectly fine. So that led me to believe that there was an electrical problem. Uh, I also checked the bulb and it appeared to be dimmer than the other ones. So there was definitely a problem there. Well, I'm happy to say that I finally fixed the problem. When I turn the blinker on, blinks at a steady pace, like the right one. And when I push on the brake, the speed doesn't change. Whereas before, if I were to press on the brake, it would blink faster. And if I turned on my headlights, it still blinks at a steady pace. So. Let's see what I did. I'm 
that I wouldn't have known unless I took one of the other bulbs out of the other sockets. It was so obvious. So if this happens to you, you'll be able to fix it on your own. Now this is the socket that I repaired, but I'll show you what I did by removing the other bulb. Uh, let's see. There it is. Just gotta get it out of here. Now, these bulb sockets, they have two contact pads on the bottom and there's one on the side. And there's three wires going to them. Two for the bottom, one for the side. Now, <laughs> if I didn't take that bulb out, I wouldn't have known that that little tab thing was there. And, uh, well, what happened was I ended up taking the bulb out of that socket and I compared the, the sockets to each other and I'm like, this one's missing that tab on here. This is the socket that I repaired. And if you notice, the pad on the side is quite different. It's made of brass and this one's made out of some sort of metal. I don't I don't know what it's made out of, but all I know is it conducts electricity and yeah, so yeah, so in this socket that tab was broken. So what I did was I went out to the dollar store and I picked up some picture frame hangers. What I did was I broke the end off of this. I stuck this end down the hole because part of that um, part of this was still in there and was still connected to that wire. So yeah, basically I just stuck the the new thing in there and yeah, all's well. It's not the same, but it works. And uh, I'm very happy. Very, very happy indeed. And I thought I was going to have to replace the whole wiring harness, which would have been quite an ordeal. Because <laughs> I don't know where the hell it starts and ends. Well, I know it ends where the bulbs plug into, but as far as that, I don't know. And it's back to normal, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah. And that's how you fix the light bulb socket on a 95 Fleetwood, but you can also do this on a 93 to 96 if you have the same problem.